Police in Hamburg, Germany, say six people have been killed in a mass shooting at a Jehovah's Witness center. A fetus was also pronounced dead. The mother was wounded. Overall, eight people were wounded, four of them seriously. The shooting happened around 9 p.m. local time last night. Now, police say the gunman is also dead and that he was a former Jehovah's Witness member. Reporter Trent Murray has the latest. Well, police in the city of Hamburg say they were able to get to the scene of this shooting within four minutes of the first phone call being made to emergency services. They initially had trouble gaining entry to the building because it's understood the gunman had locked the doors. Those first police officers instead smashing through the windows in order to try and get in there. It's understood they then were able to try and intercept the gunman and prevent him from shooting any more people. He uh, ran upstairs, it's understood, uh, and then police were worked downstairs to protect the remaining members of the congregation while keeping him barricaded up there. It was then that he uh, allegedly turned the gun on himself and took his own life. Paramedics were quick to also get on the scene to try and work on the injured. Uh, it's understood it was, in the words of some local reporters, a bloodbath inside of that church. Uh, a number of casualties, including eight people still fighting for their life, in hospital. Police really are being praised for their rapid response though. They say this could have been a much bigger tragedy uh, had they not been able to get to the scene as fast as they did and also smash through those windows. We are learning a little bit as well about the alleged shooter in all of this. Police have said he's a 35 year old man known as Philip F. We won't get his surname under German privacy laws. He worked as a banker but crucially was a member of the Jehovah Witness community. He had recently left the church, we understood, uh, but uh, had left on his own accord. He was not forced out. They say they are not sure what the motive is yet. He was a legal firearms owner. He had a, a quite a large cache of ammunition both on him at the church, but also in his apartment. In terms of motive, police say they are not ruling out mental illness, but they are saying it's still early in the investigation and they are trying to get to the bottom of why all of this occurred. Chancellor Olaf Scholz of Germany himself, a former mayor of Hamburg, has decried what he said was a brutal act of violence in Germany's second biggest city. Trent Murray for CBC News, Berlin.